Ten four, Station Six. I read you loud and clear. Station Nine. Come in as soon as you can after taking your position. I'm the one who's responsible for Mosley's security in this city. If anything happens... Nothing's going to happen, Inspector. Now get your men out of this hotel. This two-bit flea bag's a real security risk. The least Mosley could have done is to take a place more appropriate for his headquarters. What could be more appropriate to an environmental crusade than this? Take a look outside. Industry's reduced this neighborhood to garbage pit. Oh, come on, Thomas. He doesn't have to play suffering martyr to get followers. The country already loves him. This isn't a publicity stunt, Inspector. Mosley likes to fight his battles where it counts the most. On the front lines, without help from the authorities. Excuse me, Thomas. The update as of 8 o'clock today reports four microcuries per square foot within a 10-mile radius of the KFD dump site. You know what that means? This morning alone, at least 40 more people in this zone will contract a terminal disease. I need to have your men out there risking their health inspection. All right, Thomas. While you're inside the hotel here, you're on your own. But outside, and at tonight's rally, you're going to have to put up with some help from us. I'll be seeing you. Do you have the statistics on the zone's hot out effect? I'm working on it. Good. Get it to me as soon as it's ready. And I want to report on the rise of reported respiratory illness the past two months. I'm going to see Arthur. Biomass contamination has increased 3% in the past six months. And in a region which once had the lowest pollution level of the continental United States. Is that you, Thomas? Yes. I have the air quality updates as of 8 o'clock this morning. Good. Has the policeman left? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to be stuck with them at the rally at night. Do they really think someone would be fool enough to kill me? It would only make the movement that much stronger. You never know. There's always a chance some crackpot out there. on rainfall. Biomass contamination has increased 3% in the past six months. And in a region which once had the lowest pollution level of the continental United States. Well, let him rest. I live here. Sorry, we've got to frisk everybody who goes in. Hands up. Turn around. Okay, go ahead. Can I have my key? Yeah. Sorry, but the cops insisted on searching your room. Hell. They even wanted to clear out the whole hotel. I can go if you want. That won't be necessary. Reverend Mosley managed to convince them it'll be okay if our guests all stay. I'll have to go thank this gentleman. Ah, he's the greatest, you'll see. He's the man to save this country.
proceed with mission as directed. And don't let there be any mistakes. Neutralize. Sorry, Arthur Mosley isn't giving out any interviews. Mm -hmm. You can hear everything he has to say this evening at 6. And I guarantee some surprises. Goodbye. Thomas, this report on crop contamination is incomplete. Thomas? Who? Who are you? Where is Thomas? Neutralize. You. You come to kill me. Haven't you? Neutralize. Neutralize. But you'll never kill the work I have begun. Go on. What are you waiting for? Get it over with. I heard something from Mosley's office upstairs. Okay, let's go. Cover the back. around it blocked off. There's no way he can escape. Come on. All right, pan out. Right. It's goddamned impossible for him to go through that conduit a lot. To the ambulance. Easy now. Is he going to pull through? Well, he's got a ruptured spleen and he's losing a lot of blood. I wouldn't say his chances are too good. could have gone wrong. I don't know, but you better find out in a hurry. Cooper. Handprint verifies.
can help. He passed with flying colors. There's got to be something wrong. Uh-uh. Turn, I want you. This operation was your responsibility. I didn't expect that he would fail. I know, sir. I can't understand it. What you can't understand is not important. What matters is that he did fail. And that means that he can fail again and be caught. Not if we get to him first. I don't think you can handle this. You've made too many mistakes already. Give me another chance, Turner. The reputation of this entire foundation is at stake, not to mention my reputation personally and that of my friends. If the FBI find Paco Quarak and trace him to us, we're finished. We'll get him. I guarantee it. And right now we're developing a thorough character profile to determine which way he might be headed. All that psychological crap has already proven itself worthless. No, Mr. Turner, not worthless, just fallible. It may have been an anomaly. A little glitch somewhere. We feel sure Dr. Ulster will help us. Ulster. Goddamn fool quit the foundation because he didn't agree with what we did. How's he going to help us? He can be convinced. Everyone can. All right. I'll give you another chance to get something out of him, providing you can do it quick. Find Paco Querac before the FBI does. Understood? The entire country is still stunned by the attempted assassination of the Reverend Arthur Mosley. As doctors work around the clock to save the ecology leader, the police investigation continues to go forward. According to a spokesman, the prime suspect in the case, had taken lodgings at the same hotel as Mosley ten days ago. It remains a mystery, however, how he managed to escape through a narrow, underground, high-tension electrical tunnel. to hell that I'd never listen to your damn stubborn idealism. I only hope for your sake that Mosley pulls through. It isn't stubborn. It's our only chance for salvation. And the whole country hopes he pulls through, Inspector. I don't give a damn about politics, Mr. Thomas. All I know is that this thing could have been avoided. Instead, we've got the whole country in an uproar, from California to Massachusetts. They're ready to riot out there unless we get our hands on the person or persons who are responsible for you it. You could start by taking a good look at Francis Turner. KSD Incorporated is one of its subsidiaries. I don't know of anyone who hates Arthur Mosley more than he, or who stands to gain more with Mosley out of the way. We must have proof before we can accuse anyone. For starters, we've got these. Satellite pictures of the hotel zone show that a car was parked next to an abandoned factory nearby at 2.30. But at 2.46, it was gone. There's an electrical conduit that runs from the hotel to within a few yards of where the car was parked. So the killer could have used that to make his getaway. I'm having those blown up so that we can try to make out the license plate. How could he have possibly made it through alive? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Give me on a trade in. Eh, not 
out there, I'd... But you're a goddamn jackass for driving it in that acid rain back east. Now it ain't worth much more than a bucket of rust. How about that blue one over there? Yeah. Throw in another couple hundred bucks and it's yours. All right. As a result, Arthur Mosley's condition has improved, and he has been removed. Oh, when that happened? I don't know. Yes. Is it true you're not sure of the weapon that was used? I think that question is better directed to Inspector Bakey or Dr. Peckinpah of the FBI here. Well... For the time being, we have no comment on that. Sounds like the answer is yes. I said no comment. <laughs> Can I help you? I'm looking for a place to stay. Come in.
Do you ever arm wrestle? No. It's a big deal around here. Those are the champs of the past ten years. He's the tri-state champion now. I didn't hear your car pull in. Broke down. I walked. Bad luck. Where were you headed? Someplace quiet. Quiet here, for sure. You eating? No. And you're dead broke, right? Right. I need a place to stay for a couple of days. Sure. And in exchange, you help me out around here until you cut my throat. And take off with the few bucks I got in the till. I could have done that already. Okay. I'll take that chance. My name is Linda. What's yours? Paco. Elster, but something went wrong, and only you can figure out what happened. Why me? You were his trainer. My end of it came off without a hitch. Something else went wrong. Something in the original conception. Do you think I'd be willing to help you or Turner? Let's just say Turner is counting on it. When Turner originally hired me, he lied to me told me my work would benefit mankind. I embraced it with joy and enthusiasm, but all he really wanted was Paco Querac, and now I know why. I should think that you'd at least be interested to know what went wrong. Intellectual curiosity. Yes, I would like to know, but I won't do anything to benefit Turner in any way. I just want to be left alone and do my work. I warn you, Doctor. We'll use whatever means necessary to get Paco back. Yes, I know you will. I know what you're capable of, but I will not be intimidated. I am not afraid. No? <coughs> That's just for openness. Oh, you can kill me, but I won't help you. How courageous. If you don't care about your life, perhaps there is something you do care about. Your work. We'll see. No. No! What the? Stop! Please! Oh my God! You're ruining everything! No! Leave him alone! I thank you! No! Please don't do that! No! Stop! I like the word stop it! You ruin everything! So, you are vulnerable, I see. Well, the answer may be in his childhood. What's that mean? It is possible that some fleeting memories of his youth are still there, buried in his psyche. Or perhaps he went back to the source to recapture his past and try to rebuild his identity. Arizona. Uh -huh. Come on. Oh. That's all I wanted to know. Why did you let me stay? Who knows? Maybe the memory of the girl who showed up here afraid and broke 13 years ago, lost and nowhere to stay. Or maybe it's because there's a whole lot of wood out there that needs chopping. I didn't think anyone used wood anymore. Oh, they do. Especially since Reverend Rosalie started his movement. And I'd sure like to meet up with that rat that tried to kill him. So where is it? Where's what? Where's the wood? I'll show you. It's a mountain, I know. But if you can manage to do it in a week, I'll give you room and board. It's a deal. 
Oh, shit. It's almost 10. I haven't even started preparing tonight's meal. Oh, if there's anything that you want, just call. All right. He had his moments, but he was too dangerous to lie. Well, don't worry, sir. There won't be any trace of him. It's as if he never existed. Good, Hunt. I know I can trust you. Now that we know that Paco Querak may be headed for Arizona, we have a little advantage over the FBI. A little advantage, but an advantage. Peter Howell, a European hitman. Virgin around here. An infallible, they tell me. He'll hunt down Paco Querak, with your help, of course. TKW. Grove Route 66, headed for Albuquerque. Estimated time, 45 minutes before we land to refuel. TKW, over. Fine, I read you. According to my reports, the FBI hasn't traced them out there yet. But that won't last forever, so hurry up. Come on. One night? Depends on him. I don't know if he can last all night with me. Half day's a hundred bucks. <laughs> okay, room number ten. Just one thing, honey. Don't wipe the lipstick on the towels, huh? Okay, okay. What's my room number? Twelve. But your workday isn't over until five. I finished. Unless there's something else you want me to do. <laughs> Reverend Mosley, I'm Inspector Bakey of the FBI. What do you want to know, Inspector? Dr. Peckinpah, who runs our forensic department, would like to ask you a few questions. Please do. We'd like you to try and help us identify the weapon used in the attack, if possible. Needless to say, I didn't see anything. Yes, we realize that, but we were hoping that you might recall some sensation before you lost consciousness. Even a vague impression might be helpful. It seems to me... it wasn't especially large. But it felt hard, extremely hard. That's all I can tell you. Thank you. It's my dust, Mother. Not as long as you go hauling that ancient rig of yours around. Shut up, Ronnie. You still owe me 500 bucks. Double or nothing says I can whip you. That is, if you ain't too tired. Eh? You're on. <laughs> hey, Linda. Sit him off, will ya? We're thirsty as hell. Yeah, you need something to get the dust off your teeth. <laughs> okay, let's we'll see if you can wrestle it down this time, Ronnie. But I won't hurt you, guys. This will take me a minute. Watch. Come on, Ronnie. Push. <laughs> Uh, oh, shit, there goes my 50. Nobody's beating me tonight. I've got an arm of steel. You got an arm of steel? Why don't you beat Blanco? You're so great. Let's see your stuff. Is all yours? Go for it, Mal. Yeah, come on. What the hell are you waiting for? You got the balls for it, Mantle? You're too strong for me, Raul. Yeah, I'm too strong for everybody here. Hey, Linda, sweetheart. What do you want? 
Give me something to drink. Coming up. Ain't you got a kiss for the winner? Don't be stupid. Let me go. Eh, hey, take it easy, chica. <laughs> First I gotta get to my keys. You can kiss this, all right? No more takers, eh? Well, I don't blame you. Nobody can beat me. Where are your manners, punk? Hey, I'm talking to you. Maybe you didn't hear me. Show a little respect. Go on. Tell everyone in here I'm the strongest. I want to hear you say it, punk. Raul Morales is the strongest. You're a loser. What the hell did you say? Who the fuck do you think you are, shit face, talking to me like that? Anybody know this piece of rat turd? I'll break your goddamn arm, cabron. Come on. Take a seat if you think you're so great. Raul, take it easy. Don't listen to him. He's drunk. Look, go get some cases of ale from the cooler. Please. You see that, you guys? He's one to hide under a dame's skirt. He's chicken shit. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> you gotta teach that wimp a lesson. Probably up with your girl, too, Ralph. That's a lie. Then what's he doing here, puta? He needed a job and I needed help. Shut up. I got an idea. Here, you give him this. Ah, that's great. That ought to do it. I can't wait to see his face. He looks pretty tough to me, guys. Uh, I really can't you see. He's quiet down here, cousin. <laughs> Go on. Here. <laughs> he served now. They forced me to do this. <laughs> if you're a man, prove it. If you're shitting in your pants, clean your ass with this. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I think he's going to need another roll at least. <laughs> you can put him down, Raul. He knows it. Yeah. He's yellow. Yeah, but as strong as a wet fart. <laughs> <laughs> One. Why? You come up with anything? According to the computer, this is what the weapon used against Mosley looks like. Any idea what it can be? No. Nope. Not even a blind man's guess? Let me try. There's a weapon for every taste, Inspector. Take your pick. Ashtray, paperweight, sculpture, iron, crowbar, club, gun butt, hand. Hand. You start when I give the signal. Winner is the first to put the other guy's hand flat on the table. Any kind of support is strictly forbidden. When I get through with you, 
You're going to have to wipe your ass with your nose. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, five to one, says Raul Lixum. Any takers? Are you kidding? Raul is going to destroy him. All right, ten to one. That's like betting on a high school team to win the Super Bowl. That's for sure. How do you like that, Wimp? Ten to one, we can't get anybody to bid on you. And they ain't crazy, Bill. <laughs> I'll put 50 on a stranger just to make it interesting. What the hell? Put me in for 15. You got it. Was that it? Anybody else willing to take a chance? It's like throwing your goddamn money away. I'll bet a thousand dollars on him. A thousand bucks? I can't cover that. You won't have to. <laughs> Raul's gonna wipe the floor with this bum. Put your money where your mouth is. Here, I'll help cover it. Ralph can't lose. Me yeah, too. Me Give me too. 200. I'll take 300. Okay, she's covered. You better win. I need a new counter. You're throwing your money away, baby. It's my money, and I'll do what I want with it. Ready? Ready? Go! Come on, Come on man! Use that arm, stranger! Use the arm! Push him down! That's it! That's it! That's right! Come on! Don't give up. Come on, Jesus Christ! Watch out! about the mess. I'll clean up in the morning. That's right. Guy brought it in about a week ago. Where did he go? I don't know. He didn't talk much. What kind of car did you trade him? An old Ford. He's a junk, but he didn't seem to mind. What was the license number? What are you guys, cops? Tell you what. Give me the license number of the other car, and I'll pay you good money for that piece of junk. It ain't going anywhere. I already pulled the engine off it. How's a thousand bucks sound? Fine. Come on into the office. Here it is. Here. 1982 Ford Blue, license number WGT3321, Arizona. Hey! Well, what in the hell? All right, Hans, let's go.
You must work out a lot, don't you? A little. I bet you're a professional fighter or something like that. No. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be nosy. There's nothing wrong with asking a question. It's been such a long time since I ever talked to someone. The only people I see around here are couples. They come to make love without anyone knowing. And truck drivers at night. Oh, yeah, them. Oh, here. This is for you. Thanks. Belonged to the man that gave me a home here. And hey, where is he now? He died, but that's a long story. I got a buddy here who wants to take you on tonight. The name's Anatola Blanco. Undisputed tri-state champion. I saw his picture, I know who he is. You don't scare me. Well, if you're so sure of yourself, how about we wrestle Indian style? Loser's hand gets bit by a rattlesnake. <laughs> what do you say? That'll make it more interesting. Good. Tonight at seven. Double or nothing. See you later. Pa Paco, he's so big. You'll never beat him. We'll see tonight. You can stay here longer if you like. As long as you want. Thanks. I'll be leaving soon. You're running away from something, aren't you? You can tell me. There's nothing to tell. Hey, you got a room here? Yeah, I got one. This is DKW to base. Do you read us? Over. This is TKW to base, do you read her? Better land as soon as possible. They can't reach us on the radio. So? Oh, my God. Where? Okay, I'll be right there. What's the matter? There's been an accident. Some Indians ran off the road at Rainbow Plateau. There's some children trapped inside. They need my tow truck. I'll go. Give me the keys. Okay. I'll get him out. Let me get my truck and we'll lower me down. Please hurry. Okay, going back. I get hooked up. Lower me down, okay?
of you. Costa. Oh, you son of a bitch. Costa. <laughs> I want to see how you be Blanco tonight. I couldn't answer him. I was afraid that the wavelength would be traced to the helicopter. Why? Because you were imprudent with that junkyard dealer. I don't want any more incidents like that. You couldn't take the chance he'd identify us. Well, it so happens a little kid saw you and the FBI is on your tracks. Proceed with other means. Abandon the helicopter. He left in my pickup this afternoon and hasn't come back. I told you he was a chicken shit. I want to see some action here. Me too, huh? Yeah, yeah. how about it? You see yeah. some action. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Afraid he'd get hurt, weren't you? So you sent him away. You know the truth, Raul. Where have you been? Ask him. Champ. You know the rules? Yeah. The loser's hand gets snared, the gate opens, and our little friends here go to work. Take your seats. All right, Blanco, show him who's boss. Yeah, snap his arm off. I got a hundred here on Blanco. Any takers? He must be kidding. We're all betting on you, Champ. Kill him. Ready? No. That's it. All right, Blanco. Go right up here. Go do it. Go do it. All right, come on, guys, let's see something. What are you waiting for? Put him down. What do you want on the stranger? You're covered, but you're blowing your nose. Yeah, come on, make it no way. Come on, four for four, Blanco. It's almost over now. You got him, Blanco. Go on. Have a off. What are you waiting for? Don't let him up. Come on, come on, now. Come on, that's the way. Come on, Blanco. Yeah. He still ain't down yet. Yeah, 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 hey, look, he's coming back. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Me and he's coming back. Push it back, Marco. Hey, he's coming. Come on, stranger. Come on, Marco. 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 Thank you. 
Paco, I... Yes? Linda, I want to show you something. Please, don't be afraid. I am positive the weapon can only be a hand. It's impossible. No hand could have done that kind of damage. Not a normal hand, but one that can apply 5,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. No one is that strong. No human hand could. Exactly. No human hand, but an artificial hand, yes. What do you mean? You know what a cyborg is? No, not exactly. A cyborg is a human body with most of its internal organs, functions, and structures replaced by mechanical and electrical substitutes. It's human in form and behavior, but it has an incredible physical power and endurance. Jesus Christ. A bionic killer. Exactly. That explains why it was able to pass through that electrical conduit. Yes. Do you think a cyborg has already been built? Yes, many governments are trying to. Uh, but we don't have access to military secrets. I know one person we could contact. Who? Professor Ulster. He's a top expert in this field. I was able a few years ago to attend a lecture he gave at the University of Pennsylvania. He doesn't teach anymore, but I think he could help us. Let's get on the phone. I'm the result of Project HOS-1. Seventy percent of my body has been bionically reconstructed. Bionically? I guess you're wondering if I'm a man. Well, I've been asking myself that lately. And to tell you the truth, I don't know what I am. I remember an accident, an explosion, many months in a hospital bed. My entire body was mangled and useless, but my heart kept on beating. There were many doctors, experts, operations. And then? I must have been unconscious for many weeks. The next thing I remember, I was standing in front of an old blind man in a wheelchair. Arthur Mosley? Yes. I knew I had to kill him, but something inside me said no. You? They programmed me to assassinate Mosley. But some small part inside me took control. At the last second, I softened the blow. And then I ran. Linda, if you want to turn me over to the police, I won't blame you. I'd do the same thing if I were in your place. You can stay if you want. It's not safe for you. They're looking for me. I'm not afraid. Professor Ulster was killed five days ago. The local police wired us these photos. Who killed him? It looked like a robbery, but there are serious doubts. Up until six months ago, Ulster worked for a certain Francis Turner, chairman of the board of the Turner Foundation one of Mosley's chief targets. So it could be that Turner had Ulster develop him a bionic killer to get Mosley. I'd say it's quite possible. Whoever killed the professor took great pains to destroy his laboratory as if they wanted to get rid of all the evidence. I may be able to decipher what's on these tapes. Okay, I'll put through for them right away. Thank you. Any bodies inside? No, no bodies. Any identification? Don't look like it. Hey, hold on. I found this. Western Salvage, thank you for your business. It's up there.
a telephone. By the restaurant. Some dude beat Blanco? I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like it. That guy's strength was unreal. Didn't even strain a gun. Bad. Can I buy you fellas a beer? Sure, what the hell? Can't refuse a free beer. Give us a round, please, miss. It happened that I overheard what you were saying. This guy. Is he really that strong? If you don't believe me, hell, ask a guy named Raul. He even lost his girl to him. Where can I find this Raul? He's down in Winslow, about 100 miles south of here, just off Interstate 87. Everybody there knows Raul Morales. He was there for sure, until last night. There are two people in there, and one of them has to be Paco Cuerra. The thermal reading on him is twice as bright as normal. What do you say? Shall we go in and take him out? No. Wait. Hello? This is TKW. We are at the site. We found him. The subject is in a motel about 40 miles from Page, Arizona. Place called Marble Canyon. We are watching it. Al, come here. Look. The sheriff. Shit. Paco, hide. Hi, Ray. Linda. Coffee? No, thanks. I can't stay very long. I understand one of your guests beat Blanco. Oh, you mean one of my ex-guests. He left this morning. He have a car? How else could he get here? By taxi? We found an old car at the bottom of a canyon. Only been there a few days. We were able to trace it to a junk car lot near the state line. Somebody had taken it for a brand new one. Guess somebody liked throwing his money away. Or maybe he's on the run. Yeah. There's a chance it's the same guy that tried to kill Arthur Mosley. They think that he might be here in the area someplace. And there's more folks than just the law out to get him. Well, I'll let you know if I see somebody suspicious, okay? Fine. Thanks. Now, I'll take a rain check on that coffee. By the way, what's the name of that fellow that beat Blanco? Well, he paid with cash, so I didn't get his last name. He said his first name is Stanley. But he could have been lying. Mm hmm? See ya. Bye. Cap's coming out alone. Paco's still inside. We're going in. Just stay where you are. Don't let anybody see you. We're going to use some new and effective methods to neutralize him. I'm going to send some of my helicopters to provide our return. This operation is already in motion under my direction. But isn't it risky for you to get involved in this operation personally? We can handle it easily. Just follow my orders and we won't fail. I'll be behind you a safe distance. They know I'm here. I have to leave immediately. No, Paco. It's too dangerous. I'll drive you to the Mexican border tonight. Why are you doing this for me? You know what I am. None of it's your fault. You're being used. Paco. I care for you. Inspector Bakey, we're getting an answer back on those tape fragments. Paco Cuerat or Cuerawac, veteran Guatemala conflict 1987, amputation of limbs, deep coma. Underwent final bionic development. Could be Arthur Moses' assailant. Meanwhile, we just got back a field report on that at all points. Yes. The suspect drove to the state line 
traded his car in for another older model and headed east. Now it seems as if the second car is turned up. The police in Page found it. How far away is it? Four hours. We better go there. Okay. Hi. Hi there. How you doing? I'm Eddie. She's Susie. Hi, Eddie. Susie. What can I do for you? Have you got a nice room for us? Yeah. But you have to be out by seven. Motel's closed tonight. Sure. But we got to do won't take that long. You got a credit card? Yeah. The couple just went inside. Perfect. Confirm success of operation as soon as possible. We'll go. But where's the backup chopper you were sending? Over? Other helicopter is in position A726. Just 30 seconds from you. Just beyond the mountain. We'll receive your withdrawal orders on wavelength X252. Repeat, X252. Do you copy? Okay. Watch out. Here you are. Mm-hmm. See ya. Have a nice rest. Thanks. Thanks for your help. I would have done it for nothing. Anything to see that son of a bitch dead. Keep your truck parked on the main road. You cut him off if that becomes necessary. Eh, you know it. Fuck the goddamn. Ain't nothing that works in this shithole. Well, don't take it out on me, Eddie. You're the one who wanted to stop here. I could have said something sooner, Dad. I paid for the friggin' room already. Well, simmer down. Call owner. Maybe she'll change it. Fat chance of that. Anyway, the dump's falling apart. Come in. Hey, there's no water in here. It can't be. But I'll fix you up with another room. <gasps> now listen to me good, bitch. Do what I say. Okay, baby. When I tell you to, you just start screaming as loud as you can. Mm -hmm. You do it or no. I'll cut your throat. Come on, darling. Just scream. All right, now. Yeah. Come on, bitch. You heard me. Let's hear you yell now. Come on. We ain't got time to lose. That's the way. Time's running out. Shall I go? Yes, go in. Okay. There. Can you walk? I think Gotta so. Gotta get out of here. Okay, let's... 
Let's go in. Blue car, move in. Gotta get you to a doctor. Close 
closing in now. The bridge is car smashed. It can't be far. The couple you sent in the helicopter failed in their mission. He's escaped, but his car crashed near the bridge. He can't go far. And you failed too, Howell. I can do for you, champ. Come on. Yeah, Blanco, get her to a hospital, would you? I sure will. I know they're after you. And I'm with you, champ. Thanks, Blanco. Good luck. 
Come on, Lando. Get in! Get in! Hurry up! Go on! Get out of here! Hurry up! Get out of here! Get close to the truck. Look into your motel. The FBI is here looking for him. Please, Ray, take me where he is. We gotta find him first.
Let him escape. Go after him with the laser. Yeah, you too. Now you've come to kill me. Well, there's a laser. Pick it up. Why don't you use it? What are you waiting for? I'm no longer useful because I'm not a perfect cyborg. Come on. I know you came here to kill me. Go for it. No. no. I, don't want, I don't want to destroy you. I want to keep you alive. For your sake as well as mine. I could, I could never make another one like you. But you must come with me before the, before the FBI gets here. told me to have no pity for my enemies. Remember? Please, don't, don't kill me. You made one mistake, Turner. You thought you could own me by controlling my, my brain. But what you didn't realize ah. was that you don't own a man until you control his heart. Hold 
your fire. I said, hold your fire. The only problem is that he doesn't want to hold his. might convince him. Paco! Paco, it's me, Linda! You must give yourself up. No one will hurt you! No! Linda's dead! You let Linda! No! Blanco sacrificed his life for me! I'm all right! I'm coming in! Stay back or I'll kill you! No, Paco, I'm coming to you! Wait. Okay. Paco! Paco, where are you? Linda. Linda, no. Linda's, Linda's alive. Linda's alive, no. I can't see you. I don't want to see... No. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you! Paco? Go away. Please, listen to me. It's all over. You've got nothing to be afraid of. Why should I go on living? Have you forgotten what I am? Paco, you can become a man again. They know now that you were being used, you were normal before you ended up in that laboratory. And that you saved the best part of you, your soul. You really think so? Look at this, Linda. Oh, God. You see? Maybe Paco Quirak never even existed. <laughs> <laughs>